Well, the, the Court of Appeal, or rather the Lord Chief Justice, uh, said that these sentences have to be passed. Uh, it's up to the court to decide what the sentences will be. My main point as a law officer was to bring to the attention of the court the need to protect the integrity of the jury system. Everyone requires a fair trial, everyone is entitled to a fair trial, be it the victims of a crime, be it the defendants themselves. Uh, and it's important that uh, the integrity of our just justice system and the integrity of our jury system is maintained and preserved and seen to be so. Well, judges do, following advice from the Lord Chief Justice uh, in earlier cases, uh, warn jurors not to research on the internet. Uh, and uh, no doubt, following this case, judges will underline that. It, it should not be a polite request. It, it is an order of the court. One doesn't need to get too hung up about the, the magic of the internet. Uh, jurors have been able to gossip with their neighbors, uh, be influenced by their friends, and go to the public library to look up things. Uh, what is important is that the integrity of the jury system should be preserved and protected. And whether you communicate uh, by Facebook, whether you research on the internet, uh, whether you talk over your garden fence and are influenced by others, you must understand that when you take a, an oath as a member of a jury, when you disobey uh, that oath or when you disobey the uh, instructions of the judge, uh, and it is discovered, you may very well be held in contempt.